America, our democracy is in crisis. Uh, we have polarization at levels that are pretty uh, significant and uh, at the same time we've got discord uh, which is also very high and low voting low, low voter turnout which is really uh, challenging our democracy so um, as that has occurred over many many decades the world of civic education of which iCivics is the largest provider has been defunded uh, since the 1960s. That is when uh, the time at which the um, relationship of trust between government and its people started to get frayed. Uh, so, uh, so after uh, the uh, civil rights movement, after Nixon, all of those things who contributed to the sense that maybe our government wasn't what we uh, thought it was and didn't necessarily have our best interests at heart. And that started that sort of crumbling foundation of civic education as it was conceived of after the war, war the, the Second World War, um, and this notion of patriotism and pr pride in America. Um, and so there we are many, many decades later and we come to a place where uh, we have a system of civic education that's just cr crumbling totally um, and hasn't been invested in. Uh, so uh, we are facing then yet a democracy crisis uh, while we don't have a system in which the government itself has an interest in forming students that are going to participate in it. So essentially we've thrown up our hands and said, okay, may, may the best man win, right? I saw one teacher do a phenomenal thing. She set up a conversation between the students and the, the chief of police. And they actually had a productive discussion about these interests of personal security um, in, in community safety uh, and individual rights and how these things overlap and, and why they were being targeted. Um, so I, I'm, I'm endlessly op optimistic when it comes to actual work that can be done uh, with in schools and, and with students, uh, but it can seem daunting when you're talking about you know such a big issue.